On my recent group trip to the Philippines, I was very lucky to have been given the Oceanic Plus Dive housing to field test and create a review about it. I was very enthusiastic testing this very special piece of equipment, but had to realize early on in the testing that the Oceanic Plus Dive housing simply isn't quite ready yet and didn't work the way I expected. Stay with me to hear the full story on what happened and what work needs to be done to make the Oceanic Plus Dive housing into a proper underwater smartphone housing. Welcome back to the channel guys, it's great to have you with us for today's video. Now as you've probably noticed from my introduction, I wasn't very happy with the Oceanic Plus Dive housing from my first testing back in the Philippines a couple of weeks ago. Now there's a couple of reasons why this is the case and I'm happy to share those with you in today's video. But first, let me give you some important background information to put everything I'm about to tell you into perspective. Firstly, I'm not being paid by Oceanic or anyone else for that matter to create this video. Oceanic simply provided a test unit of their Oceanic Plus dive housing to me so I can test and review it for you guys. At the time I received the housing, it wasn't officially released for sale. This has changed in the meantime. Regardless, I am not aware that the unit that I was sent was a pre-production unit of any kind. The software has been updated a few times since, but the physical unit should be identical to the ones being sold right now, as far as I know. Secondly, I was asked by Oceanic to use a test flight version of their Oceanic Plus app for testing. This is like a pre-release version of the app for beta testing. So I guess that most of the issues that I found while testing should be correctable through a software update. The question is only how long will Oceanic need to fix all those issues. And lastly, I wasn't really planning on making this video, but much rather a complete full-length review of the Oceanic Plus Dive housing. But with the situation being what it is, I feel like this wouldn't be appropriate as I simply didn't manage to do all the tests that I wanted and needed to make a complete review about this housing. By the way, all the testing I'll talk about in this video today was conducted between November 27th and December 4th, 2023. Oceanic has been informed about my findings and from what I know, they're working on finding a solution to them. Now, before we get into the issues and problems that I've encountered using the Oceanic Plus Dive housing, let's take a quick minute and look at some example footage that I was able to capture with my iPhone 15 Pro Max inside the Oceanic Plus Dive housing. Yeah. 
The housing really impressed me with its high quality build, regardless of the imperfect software. It seems like the housing has been built to last for a very, very long time and the integrated vacuum system certainly makes you feel like your iPhone is going to be very, very secure inside the Oceanic Plus dive housing. The software on the other hand couldn't quite keep up with the physics of the housing. Here's a list of a few things that didn't work quite the way they should have. On the very first dive, the Oceanic Plus app crashed on me while being underwater. And once this happens, there is no way you can reactivate and uh, restart the app other than physically coming out of the water, opening the housing and then restarting the app on your phone. Now, this wasn't a big deal for me. I simply just stopped using the housing for the rest of the dive. But if you were to rely on the dive computer function that is integrated in the Oceanic Plus dive housing as your sole means for tracking your dive data, well, you might have a bit of a problem as all the dive computer metrics also disappear when the app crashes. The much hyped auto color correction isn't working quite yet. On one dive, when applying the auto color correction, it would display the correction on the screen and while I was recording, but it wouldn't save it to the file. So you would end up with non-corrected files that look completely different to what you were seeing on the screen while you were recording the videos. On another dive, when pressing the auto color correction function, it wouldn't give you a consistent correction, but it would flicker between the corrected and the non-corrected image until you deactivated that function again. It looked something like this. I couldn't access the five times telephoto lens through the Oceanic Plus dive housing and I wasn't able to activate video stabilization. Some of the shots that I took underwater were not displayed in the gallery section of the app. You could access them through the camera roll of your phone, but not being able to see them in the gallery section of the app means that I wasn't able to review those shots while being underwater, making sure that I got the shot that I wanted. I actually had to take the phone out of the housing, open the camera roll, the native camera roll app on my iPhone and was only able to review the shots then. So those are the major things that I noticed during my first tests of the Oceanic Plus dive housing. And I really hope that the Oceanic team will be able to fix those software issues as quickly as possible. I mean, yes, you can certainly use the Oceanic Plus dive housing as it is now in conjunction with an iPhone as a dive computer. And no doubt about it that your iPhone will be very, very safe inside this housing. But using your iPhone's camera underwater won't be much fun this way and rather frustrating. Please Oceanic, fix those software issues real quick so I can give the testing another go while I'm in the Maldives in early December and create a proper full-length review about the Oceanic plus dive housing. I would really love that. So for the time being, and until they haven't fixed those issues, I can't really recommend the Oceanic Plus dive housing. This might obviously change in the future, but it is my opinion with my experience and the current situation on November 17th, 2023, the day this video has been recorded. And that's all I've got for you today. I hope this video was insightful and beneficial to you. And I will obviously keep you posted on any further developments with the Oceanic Plus dive housing. Should you have any questions about the housing, feel free to put them down in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching guys. Have a great week and I will see you in the next video.